Cindy in Indy has a, a question for us. While browsing the web, I'm getting t- so tired of seeing ads and follow us links that can only be targeted targeting me from either conversations I have had, which we all know is happening, or even more bothersome gasp from podcasts I listen to while at my desktop Mac. For instance, I have recently been listening to fantasy football podcasts and not talking about football with anyone. And now my Facebook feed is full of every NFL team and players, sports TV channels, and all things football. Ideally, I would like to apply a keystroke or to completely turn off and on my internal microphone, either through an app, keyboard maestro, Alfred, or whatever geekiness you guys suggest. Okay. Um, I'm going to state, I'm, we're going to head down this path in a, in a variety of ways, but I'm going to state up front that I really don't think that your Mac is listening to you. It, because if it were, you would see the little microphone in use, orange light, I'll call it, that sits in between the control center and the clock in the upper right corner of your Mac. That is that that orange light is on when any microphone attached to your Mac is in use and it is not, not there or off when it's not. If something's listening to you, I, I, so I really don't think it's your Mac um, for a variety of reasons, which we can get into. But uh, it, if something's listening to you, it might be another device. Like if you have uh, an Amazon Echo unit, the A-Lady in your house, a, a Google device, like those are listening all the time. There are some conjectures out there that they are using that data to do targeting I'm also not convinced that that's the case because if that actually was happening and it were provable, they would have, they would be in so much hot water. Like it, it just, it, it would be it, like, it would be terrible for Come imagine those. the edge you would start seeing. <laughs> well, yeah, that's number one. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't think that that's what's happening, but if it is, you know, you've got those things. I, I we've had this conversation on the show. Um, I, it's the the prediction algorithms for specifically Facebook, but but lots of the you know uh, I'll call them retargeting or target ad targeting uh, you know technology has gotten really good, and they use a lot of data uh, to point them to know that we would be interested in one topic or another. Football season is gearing up, right? The preseason just ended this past weekend, I think, if I'm correct about that, right? The mm-hmm. but, right, I, I think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, I'm also getting tons of football ads on my feed, and it makes sense because in previous seasons, so a year ago or you know, eight months ago, whatever it was, I've interacted with these things. I might have even posted things about you know a certain team or another, and so Facebook doesn't forget that stuff just because it wasn't in the last two days. In fact, they, you know, they have a whole profile. They know all the things I'm into. They probably know more about me accurately than I do about me, you know, and I'm somebody who prioritizes self-awareness. But I like I think that's probably why you're getting all these football ads is it's the right time of the season and all of the TV streaming companies are trying to win your business uh, by telling you, hey, you know, if you cut the cord, you can still watch sports here. You know, like it makes sense that this is the time to spend tons of money and attention on these things, especially targeting people that they know who in the past have done it. All that said, the question is super interesting to me. Uh, you know, how do you ensure the microphone is muted, right? With your camera, you can put a, uh, you know, a slider or black tape or whatever you want over it and know that the camera is definitely not going to be viewing you. Like it can't, you know, we understand the way light works. Okay. But with sound, you know, you might be able to figure out where the mic is on your, whichever computer you have and put a you know piece of tape over it, but that's only going to muffle it. You know, you're not going to stop the microphone from listening. So how do you ensure that, your Mac can't hear you. And the answer is there's no direct way, but I have discovered a workaround in the past. And what I've done is I go into, if I want to make sure that it's never even for a second going to accidentally, you know, capture the audio in uh, you know, a room or something, I will go in and select a non microphone audio input device. So if you happen to have like, for example, a Thunderbolt dock 
that has a microphone jack on it, you can select that audio input device. But if there's nothing plugged into it, you're not going to get any sound. I mean, it, you might get some like very, very, you know, low volume hum or something. But even that shouldn't happen if there's nothing plugged into it. So but it's certainly not going to be picking up audio from the room. If you don't have one of those things, you can install something that will let you create a virtual audio device. Uh, Black Hole is a free piece of software that will create either a two channel or a 16 channel virtual device and just po don't point anything at it, but select that as your sound input. And that's going to be, that's it. You know, it's going to get nothing or loopback is a paid product that does the same thing. lets you create actually many, many different uh, virtual devices and you can do the same thing. Just select a loopback session or a loopback de device. It's a virtual device that has nothing feeding into it. Uh, and then you're good to go. It's not going to, you know, there's no audio to be recorded.